Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? Horcrux here and welcome back to the channel. So I know, I know it's been a while. So we're going to start making ESO PvP videos yet again. Yes, applause. I can find the applause emote somewhere. Wish I had a soundboard. <laughs> cough, cough. Uh, Beyond the Lost Art Grind. Sorry for that, fellas. Was able to reach number seven on the leaderboards on US East servers. So that's a pretty big accomplishment for, you know, for me. Um, so enough about that. I'm sure you guys don't give a shit about that. But if you are, please hit the subscribe, eviscerate the subscribe button, actually. And from what I'm told, you actually get zero ping once you enable the subscribe button. So it's red. You click it, it turns gray, and that enables zero ping. Just a FYI, a little tip. Speaking of tips, um, we are going to start off the channel. It's going to be a very short video today about a game-breaking bug that was probably already in the game, which I'm pretty sure it was in the game. Um, prior to this patch, but I didn't talk about it because quite frankly, I did not want people to abuse it. Um, so it's a way to get infinite stamina for literally nothing on the Dragon Knight class. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter if you're Magicka or stamina, um, this trick is going to apply to you. So how do we actually do this thing? Okay, so we're here on the Dragonite, so apologies, some of my buttons are actually not working on my controller. Of course, it's the Elite controller, they use really cheap-ass um, sensors for the uh, the bumper, so sometimes they go out and you need to recalibrate your controller and take it apart. It's really dumb, but I'm going to show you guys exactly how we get infinite stamina. So I'm roll dodge quite a few times here, so I get as low as we can, and watch what happens when you spam this ability. You see our stamina pool go up? This isn't just our regeneration. This is literally getting free stamina out of casting an ability. And so how are we doing this? Like, how is this free to cast? Like, like, what is going on here? So when we go into the Dragonite, if you're new to the Dragonite, you have an ability. So I may cut away because I'm not actually sure which passive this is actually. Okay, there we go. So helping hands, when you cast a non-stamina costing Earth and Heart ability, you restore essentially a thousand stamina. Okay, so if you are a stamina boy, man, this would be pretty awesome to abuse, but sadly everything that is Magicka is really, really expensive. Um, except Cinderstorm, look at Cinderstorm. So you can actually get this down to free to cast. I just don't feel that it is necessarily needed. How am I getting this down to 60 Magicka per second? So this is a toggleable ability. Well, I say toggleable, but you cast it on the ground and it drains your Magicka. It doesn't have an initial cost, which leads into the bug. I'm pretty sure this is a bug because they changed the tooltip. It used to be you could um, use the other morph eruption and the eruption would do like initial damage on cast so what people would do um, on the pts at the time they would use this as their spammable and it only costs you like 60 magica uh, since they changed that you can only do the damage like every seven seconds or something like that from the initial cast of the eruption but this is cinder storm you can use either one mind you but i think cinder storm is can actually be viable on stamina class now so it's down to 60 magica little do people know that when you run a cost reduction so in order to do this you have to run, run one infused cost reduction magic glyph on your jewelry so this is additive this is not multiplicative this does not stack with your passives when it comes to cost reduction so when this says 306 magica reduction this is damn near 306 on all your abilities across the board the only reason it would not be 306 for example if you are a breton class which i am um the passives that you get from being a breton um, does kind of diminish this a little bit. So um, what does that mean exactly? So this 7% actually kind of works against you a little bit. Say for example, if you had a high elf or a class that did not have any passives with uh, match at cost percentage reduction, you would actually get the 306 verbatim. But because we have a passive here, there's some strange math that works out. You don't necessarily get the entire 306 that the glyph says. It's more like 298 or something of that nature. But I mean, who cares, right? You know, math hard. But if you slot one of these on your jewelry, that essentially makes your center storm free to cast. So now you have a way to generate maximum stamina. If you're ever low on stamina, just spam cinder storm. That's all you have to do. And it is literally guys free to cast. So there's your infinite stamina pool. So hopefully this trick is very helpful to you guys new to the DK and new to ESO in general. If you are welcome, we'll keep up with a lot of bugs as I see fit, but I figured this would be a really good start back to the series here on the channel about PVP content. Yes, I'm going to have a lot of montages, 
a lot more build videos. I need to grind up a lot of other classes this week just so I can have more builds for more classes for you guys. You guys know I'm pretty much a one trick, but I do play a couple other classes as well. So hopefully this was at all helpful, guys. Please eviscerate the like and subscribe button. Hit the notification icon as well in case you want to be informed on all of this stuff I'm gonna have going forward. There may be all kinds of game breaking bugs that I'm gonna keep low key to myself. So hit me up in the Discord, maybe hit the streams up sometime, then I might divulge some of those bugs. I know there are a couple more I'm kind of debating on whether they're about to go over. It's mostly a, a macro splicing with a two-hander, but uh, that is a video for another day, and it's damn near exploitive. Not a bannable offense, but um, you will get a lot of hate mail for doing so. So. This has been Horcrux, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And before I peace out, a huge and glorious shout out to my patrons and also my community members who make this channel possible. I really, really appreciate you guys I, from the bottom of my heart. I really do. And if you want to help support the channel, the link is down in the description to below to my YouTube membership. So you get shout outs in all my videos. You'll get a couple some e emotes for you spam chance, access to private Discord channels, and also Patreon if you're interested in a little bit of PvP coaching in, in case you're new to ESO or you just want to get better on your classes, you know, just to take your skills just a little bit more to the next level. I mean, there's a lot of tricks in this game that are just kind of like unbeknownst and a lot of the elitist players and kind of such myself, uh, we don't really talk about them, we really discuss them just because they're second nature to us. And sometimes guys, I just don't realize that the knowledge I know, which is second nature to me, is not second nature to someone else. So if you have any tips or tricks, especially with the Dragonite class, if there's Patreon tiers for that, we can spar, you know, whatever. If you want to get better at PvP, I'm your guy, fellas. So, peace.